Today, we are going to dive into the exciting new change data capture capabilities in Azure Data Factory. We will show you how this new feature simplifies the process of setting up and managing your data pipeline. So, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to DevScope channel. Change Data Capture or CDC is a powerful feature that allows you to track changes in your data sources and process those changes incrementally. Uh, and this can be dramatically improve the efficiency and speed of your data processing workflows. In the past, ADF users had to design data flows and pipelines to implement CDC but now it's available as a top-level factory resource. Now, let's see how you can configure the new CDC feature in Azure Data Factory. First thing, we are coming here to our Data Factory resource. If we came here to author, we're going to see our pipelines, data sets, data flows, and now we have a new option as a preview still that is called by Change Data Capture. Here, uh, you can create new CDC workflows that will working as a CDC automatically for this purpose. So the first thing that we need to do is create a new CDC resource by clicking in the new plus button and select change data capture. We are going to give it a name. And we're going to select a data type. We select the delimited text, we are going to open a folder and read from that folder uh, from a CSV. We select the linked service that we already have for our uh, blob storage. We're going to fold that and select our source folder. And we have already one creator that is called CDC that has a, a file in it that will serve as the file source for our uh, destination. We hit continue. And then we have to choose our target. So where we are going to store the information that we take from our CSVs. So for the purpose on this example, we are going to select a SQL database. We target again our uh, uh, linked service for a database that, that, that I have. And now we have two options here. So we can select a new entity. So when we start to, to run the CDC process and start to load the information from the CDCs to a new table on this database, or we can select an existing table in the database. So we can use an already existing metadata to import our data. In this case, we're going to create a new table for this purpose. So we are going to load product data. So we are going to call this new table as product. We hit OK and we can hit continue. So we already have a source, we have a target now. So all you, we need now is to set up the, the, the CDC workflow. So, as you can see now, we have already our CDC workflow created. We can see that we have our source here that comes from our blob storage and we have our target table that goes for our, to our SQL Server database. So, before we publish this, we have to select uh, our, the latency uh, that we want that the CDC process runs. So there's several options since uh, since uh, real time to up to hours, but uh, uh, this basically means that every 15 minutes, every one hour, the CDC workflow will run. We'll look at the, your folder, at your CSV files, load the new data to your database. 
For the purpose of this demo, I will choose real time so we can see the immediate changes that we have. One thing that we can do here is define the mapping between your source and the target data. Basically, ADF will automatically map the columns for you, but if you want, you can adjust the mappings manually if needed. Once you complete this setup, all you need is to publish your, uh, your workflow. Once the publish is done, all we need is to start our CDC workflow. We're going to hit start and just wait a few minutes. So now we have our CDC configuration already running. So one thing you can do uh, is that you can easily monitor the progress of your CDC process in a dedicated monitoring section. And this will provide you with value information on the number of rows read and written, as well as the status of each occurrence. So if we came here to the monitor tab, we are going to see that our CDC process is running. If we open it, you are going to see that still it doesn't read anything so far. So what you're going to do now is we already have uh, uh, our process running. So what we need to do is we are going to upload a new file to our folder so we can start to see some data in. So we have our blob storage. We are going to hit upload here. I'm going to browse from our files and I'm going to upload a file. I'm going to overwrite. And basically this file is a CSV with all the product data that we need. So we have new data. Our CDC process is running in real time. So we just have to wait a few seconds, at least a minute, and our data is coming in to our SQL table. So we have already our data read. And if we take a look at our SQL table, we are going to find a product table. I'm going to select the data. And this is the data that we have. 701 rows. So basically, if we want and if someone upload a new file or we have we have, we are reading from a SQL database where new file is added basically what we want is to uh, get the new information and upload the new the new information to our SQL table and after that we uh, we have this process made automatically so basically what we're going to do now is upload a second file with three more rows that uh, that need to be added so we are going to add a new file this file has new rows so we are going to wait just a few seconds again to to our cdc process read the new data so as you can see we have three more rows in the data read and if we take a look at our table and select again our table, we will see that we have four more rows and those last registers are coming in. So using the new CDC capabilities in Azure Data Factory offers several key benefits. One, improved efficiency. So CDC allows you to process only the changes in your data, reducing the amount of processing required and simplify its setup so this resource simplifies the process of configuring and managing cdc workflows remember uh, before we have this option we had to do it everything manually we had to configure the workflows manually before and we have a cost effective solution as you are only built only for the cdc process and not for the pipelines that you own so using the new CDC feature, uh, it can be very, uh, it can be more economical solution for processing your data. 
So there you have it, the new change data capture capabilities in Azure Data Factory make it easier than ever to implement and manage efficient data pipelines. Be sure to give it a try and see the improvements in your data processing workflow. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.